Howdy, howdy, everybody. Today is Friday, November 29th, 2019. It's about uh, 8.20 in the morning, 0820, three military types. It is the famed Black Friday, the Friday after Thanksgiving, in which days all the, all the sales and stuff are going on. Of course, now they've all kind of um, migrated to a Black Thursday, starting their sales at about 6 p.m., uh, till I don't know, wee hours of the morning, then coming back the next morning for Black Friday proper. Uh, we were out today, this morning, uh, to get some supplies and stuff. We went to uh, Joanne's Fab Joanne Fabrics. Now, last year they had quite a bit of quite a line uh, prior to opening. They opened this morning at what was it, six o'clock? That's my there's my honey. Hi. So, um, yeah, they were, uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't be going to Joanne's by myself, or, or for myself. I went for her. Um, and they were, uh, they, last year the headlines kind of wrapped, uh, they had several people deep at 6 o'clock in the morning standing in line. We got there this morning around 5.30, thinking that would be a uh, good enough time to get in line. We got there, <laughs> and nobody in line. As a matter of fact, Shirley was the only one in line when they opened the doors. So... Uh, we got our material and everything she needed to get, and uh, we thought, well... And I saved $319. <laughs> yes, tell them. Tell them! I saved $319. Tell them what you spent. Uh, what you one, actually paid out. $174. So she spent $174, saved $300 and whatever she said it was. So, I guess, you know, I guess the specials are okay. That's, that's good. Um... I just don't know why people have to, why they have their employees get up so damned early in the morning for this nonsense. You could do that during regular hours. But anyway, it is what it is. Uh, so um, after we got in the store, there was, you know, five or six more people that straggled in. But it was not the big door busting rush that they had last year and previous years. Uh, so we got done with that and we decided to go down to uh, Best Buy, which is just right across the street. Uh, and normally they have a line uh, wrapped and there was nobody in line but we got there a little what time did we get there we got there about 6.30 or so yeah originally yeah well 6.30 or so and discovered they didn't open up for their Black Friday till 8 a.m. so we went and had breakfast we came back sat for a little bit and when we got back into Best Buy there was about maybe 10 people in line they have these little corral things set up 10 people in line. Um, so we took off and did a little driving for a little bit, came back uh, just a little before 8 a.m., and there was probably 20 to 30 people in line then, but it was not the, you know, hundreds of people that there used to be. Um, everybody was real congenial and whatnot. It didn't hurt that there were a couple of police officers present, uh, which is something we noticed at Walmart yesterday. Walmart um, in Greenfield started their black friday stuff on thursday evening at six or eight p.m whatever it was and they had seven police officers in that building um so but uh, nobody was making a rush or running over anybody um didn't happen this morning at best buy so with any f good fortune this nonsense about black friday rushes will be kind of dying out um look it's the day after Thanksgiving. Your employees don't want to be there at 2 or 3 or 4 in the morning. Anybody with any brains doesn't want to be there at 2 or 3 or 4 in the morning. So why don't you just st open up on your regular hours and have your sales? You can have your sales during regular hours, and it's not going to be any big deal. It'll still attract the same number of people. Um... You'll still get all your sales that you you would have gotten at 4 in the morning. You'll still get them at 10 in the morning or whatever time you open up. 8, 9, whatever. Stop this nonsense about you know opening up early for Black Friday specials. Uh, anyway, that's the rant for today. Um, like I said, the prices are good. I, I, I don't ever have any problems with sales. It's just stupid to get people up that early in the morning all wrapped up and stuff if it's just not your normal hours so well i guess that's about all i have to say that's what's going on at this time in this place 
and we will chat with you all later on. I hope you all had a great Thanksgiving. Uh, we had some wonderful uh, times with our families and stuff, and so it was uh, really good. So um, hope you did as well. Uh, now it's back to work, back to business. So catch you all later. You want to say bye? Hang on, Matt. Bye. Oh, you see this little stick right here? You see this little stick right here? That is a scent stick. It smells like about a hundred pine trees. It is really fragrant. You hang them from your pine tree. They come in uh, bottles of ten, and it's usually two bottles per pack, and it's about ten bucks. Uh, my uh, son and daughter-in-law gave us one of those uh, because we walked in their house and they've got their, their tree up, but they got these things hanging in them and it smells like a real tree. Uh, so I, they gave me one I'm hanging in my car and it smells like you're camping out in the forest when you get in my car. So anyway, enough of that. Anyway, I'm really going now. Catch y'all later.